All right. Hey, everyone. This is Mr. Culp. Uh, I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you some really cool stuff that you can do on uh, your iPad using the app Procreate. Uh, this is going to be a quick little uh, art activity exercise, uh, and the end result is something that looks really cool. So it's easy to do, and it looks really good in the end. So uh, to get started, we're going to open up Procreate. And it's this little black icon with the colorful swoosh. Mine's saved down here on the dock, so I'm gonna open that up. And this is the main gallery page. We wanna add a new canvas. And I'm gonna come up here where it says the little plus button. I'm gonna hit that. If you have one that already says square, for this drawing, we're gonna use a square format. If you don't see one that says square, you can hit new canvas. And Quick thing to know, it always defaults to pixels. So you wanna make sure that you change it to inches. Pixels is basically each little dot on your screen. So that's kind of a confusing way to measure things. So we're more used to using inches. So we're gonna make that inches. And then up here, we're gonna make it just a square. So I'm gonna just go nine by nine. So nine by nine. So I have a nine inch by nine inch square. When I get that, make sure it's on inches. I'm gonna hit create, <clears throat> and now it's a square blank canvas, okay? Um, in Procreate, you can use your two fingers to pinch and zoom in and out of your canvas. You can twist it and rotate it. That might help you when you're drawing. Um, for this, over here at the top, we're gonna to just use black. We're gonna start off with just some nice clean black lines, um, and then eventually we'll add some color. Uh, these are the brushes here. Uh, mine is actually on inking, and it's using the technical pen in the category inking. And this is a nice, clean, black pen type line. And that's what we're going to need to start for this drawing. Okay? Um, you can use your Apple Pencil if you have one. You can use a stylus. Um, that's up to you. If you don't have either, you can do this whole thing with your finger too. Over here, you can change the thickness of that line. Okay, and then this bottom slider is the opacity. So if I drag it down a little bit, you'll see how my line is gray now. That's because it's slightly transparent now. So I wanna make sure it's all the way up so it's black, okay? If I wanna get rid of these scribble lines, I can hit the undo button here, and that's the undo. Or if I want, I can just tap with two fingers and that's undo as well. It's a little shortcut, okay? So now, to make this really interesting, uh, really easy option and, and trick you have in the app Procreate. We're going to go over here where the wrench is and where it says canvas, click canvas. And then you're going to actually turn on a drawing guide. So this is a drawing guide toggle. Make sure you click that on and you're going to see by default it puts all these grid square marks on your canvas. We want a little bit of a different drawing guide for this drawing. So we're going to hit edit drawing guide and you have some different options now. We're gonna go with the one that says symmetry. And then that's gonna divide my canvas in half, so the right and the left would be balanced. We want it to actually make a circle or go around a circle. So we're gonna hit options, and you have horizontal, vertical, horizontal, quadrant, or we're gonna hit radial, okay? And you'll see that's gonna divide it up into like pizza shapes or a piece of uh, like pie type shapes, okay? And then I'm gonna hit done. So, review, wrench, canvas, drawing guide, edit that drawing guide to symmetry, and then options to radial, okay? Now, the cool thing about this, whenever I draw, it's going to mirror and repeat that drawing all the way around the circle. So if I just draw in this triangle, it's going to mirror what I'm drawing, which is pretty awesome. And you can do some really cool uh, designs that are very easily done just by drawing some lines. Um, so you can just have some fun and you can kind of zoom in just so you can see that one triangle and you can just have some fun drawing some lines if you want. Um, you can draw some shapes really whatever you want for this, and it's going to mirror it all the way around the circle. 
Now, if I want to undo, I just tap with two fingers and I can just draw and undo, okay? Um, this is kind of fun because you can write stuff like your name or write a, a word or whatever you're feeling and it's going to turn it into a design. So if I wanted to, I could write my name, okay? O L P. And it's going to mirror it around the circle. Now there's a lot of big open areas, so this is where I could have some fun now, and I could start to make some more designs within my design. Maybe I'll do a bunch of little squares. And it's going to mirror it all the way around. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Playing with design, right? So really just try, undo, try again, undo until you're happy with it. Um, it could be your name or it could just be some really cool shapes and designs that you make. Uh, that is really up to you. I'm just doing some kind of swirly lines for this one. And to connect them, I'm gonna go like that. So this is kind of a way you could even do maybe some really cool kind of snowflake type shapes if you want, uh, which could be really fun this time of the year, right? Once you have some really cool lines drawn, now you can come over here on the top right and you can actually select any color you want. Down here you can change how you're seeing those selector colors. Um, I kind of like this one. Um, but you could take, I'm going to do this blue color down here, and then the middle is where you're selecting. So I'm going to drag from black, I'm going to drag that circle up, and now it's going to select this blue. And the cool part is now I can click and drag that color and drop it, and it will color in that shape. Since it's still on that drawing guide, Whenever I drop it into a shape, it's going to color all those shapes all the way around. So if I drop it into this one, it's going to color all of them. That's right next to the other blue, so that wasn't as good as I wanted. So I'm going to change it and maybe do this. And then maybe that. And then maybe these out here. Right? And then I can change to a slightly different blue, maybe. And I can color in some more. And depending on how detailed you have your drawing, you could have a really interesting design when you're done. And it was really easy to do. Cool. So that's something that I think you could easily play around with and experiment with and really take it any direction you want. You could have something specific like your name or a word that you draw on and turn it into a design, design, or you could just have a, just kind of this abstract shape design and then start to add some color. You're essentially making yourself your own color sheet, which can be kind of fun, okay? Um, that's really all I got for you. Have fun with that and experiment, and hopefully uh, soon I'll have a couple more videos for you guys. All right, thanks.